812 is the time. We are deep in the holiday season and many people are still shopping for gifts. Don't panic. <laughs> Our team is looking for ways to take some of the stress out of last minute rushes. News 8's Amisha Ramsey today joins us from Cooper's Hawk Winery. Amisha? <laughs> That's right. Well, good morning, Brittany. Good morning, Scott. Um, this is a really great segment because it's for the hostess of the most is those people who love to put a good charcuterie board, pair in different wines, and we're going to be looking at a plethora of different flights here and what this is going to look like with our artesian board. So we have none other than Scott Frazier who's been with us this morning. He is the general manager here at Cooper's Hawk, and he has been giving us the 411 and what we need to know. So good morning, Scott. Good morning. Awesome. So we're looking at this beautiful ensemble that you have for us this morning. Please break it down and tell us what we see here. Yeah, so charcuterie boards have mm -hmm. become so common that bringing a bottle of wine to the celebration can always add to it. Yes. Um, so here we have our candied bacon and cheese plate that we have in the restaurant paired with a wine flight. Um, our first one up is our Sauvignon Blanc. That's going to go great brightness mm -hmm. um, so in acidity. So it's going to go well with goat cheeses, mm. um, that tangy in there. It's going to go with feta if you like feta. Oh, so yes. always a great one to add to any board. Um, the Pinot Noir that we have is going to go well with our candied bacon. So Pinot Noir is really great with any lighter meats like pork. So any um, porks or meats mm -hmm. um, that you do have on your board, that's going to go very well with. Um, the Super Tuscan is one of those that think rustic. So we have some sun-dried tomatoes on top of there. It's oh, going to go with those know. kind of feelings that you get with rustic pastas as well that could kind of show up. And then our ice wine here is going to add some sweetness to the board, but pairs very well with honey. So here we have some pistachio honeycomb mm -hmm. that is going to be great with that. So there's a little room for every type of wine on a charcuterie board, and we're here to help you pick out which ones to go with the cheeses and meats that you've selected. Okay, when you said candy bacon, I have to try that one. So for it all the amazing. I know for all the vegans out there, I'm so sorry, but I have to try this candy bacon and pairing it with this flight. Is that right? Yes, Pinot Noir or the the Super Tuscan. Mm. Either one will will pick up those smoky notes in there. Mm, the Pinot Noir. I have to try this one. Give it a little swirl. Smell it. it smells so good. Wow, the pairing is so amazing. How do you guys come up with that concept just to even put these tastes together? Um, it's it's a lot of trying, mm -hmm. um, you know, so there's your standard ones that you go with like you would pair a meal mm -hmm. and other ones, you know, you try things with different ones. You're surprised sometimes that combinations work well. Um, that might surprise you, but really it's just uh, trying the wines, going off what we know with the pairings and the notes that you get from the wine compared to what you're going to get with the textures of the food and the notes from the food as well. So Very festive. Okay, guys, stick with us in the next hour. If you want to get all the details and know about this wonderful artesian board, how to pair your flights, just stick with us. We'll have more details in the next hour. Catch us at 9.15. We'll send it back to the studio.